Hey y'all, it's GED question of the day time. And just off the bat, it looks like algebra. But don't be the foolish student who doesn't read the directions here, okay? So a lot of guys go straight to the problem without reading the directions and you do work you don't have to do. So take a look here. It says, is 17 a solution to the equation below? A solution would mean that it's a valid, true answer for to replace the variable here. So in this case, in, if you look at this problem, the only variable I have, the only letters I have are X's. And so um, that would mean that this 17 could be the X. If it's a solution, X could be that. And my equation would stay true. Remember, an equation is a statement of a of equality. It says the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Well, if this x is a solution, then it should make the two sides equal. So a lot of students just automatically started solving without reading my directions. Could you do that? Yeah, you could. I just think it's the harder way to deal, do this problem. What I would do is I would put this 17 in for x and see if I get a true statement, if I really do get a left hand side that's equal to the right hand side. So let's do that. So I am going to substitute in this uh, number that I'm testing into my x. So I won't change any of my numbers or my symbols, but my x will turn into 17. Again, I won't change any of my numbers or my symbols. Now, careful. I don't know if these two sides are equal. That's what I'm testing right now. So I'm not going to put just drop an equal sign here. We've got a couple of choices. You can use the mathematics mathematical sign that that stands for questions. It looks like an equal sign with a question mark over, over it. I'm asking, are these two sides equal? Or you can just treat the left-hand side and the right-hand side like they're two totally separate problems and just see if they really do come out equal in the end. And I think that's what I'll do. So again, I'm going to replace that x with a 17 and uh, substitute it in, in the right-hand side expression. So I substitute it in, in the left-hand side expression, and I substituted it in in the right-hand side expression, since there was an x in both of them. And now I'm just going to do the simplifying and see if the two sides sh come up equal. So order of operations says that I can feel free to start within my parentheses. So I'll do that grouping first. 17 plus 4 is 21. Drop what I haven't used up, and I'm working the left-hand side as if it's a totally separate problem. Now I'll do my multiplication, and last I'll do my subtraction. And on this side, I get 40, no, 31. 42 minus 11 is 31. Now on the right-hand side, 17 minus 20, well, if I have only $17 and I spend 20, I'll be in debt $3. So the left-hand side came to 31. The right-hand side came to negative 3. Are those two numbers equivalent? Are they equal? Of course they're not. They're two different numbers. And so the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side, and so 17 is not a solution. So my answer to this is no. People were giving me all kinds of weird random answers, but I asked you a question. Is it a solution? You need to answer a yes or no question with the words yes or no. And so, um, no, 17 is not a solution. Now, here's all my proof why, but this is still the answer to my question. Great. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them.